In this video, let's learn the logic of true sample t test and how to do this test in Python. First, you have to understand how the data is organized. This first column is race. W is white people and B is black people. And the years of experience is a continuous variable, but it record as a discrete variable. The null hypothesis is the average years of the experience of white people is equal to the black people. See that this is a true tail test. See the equality. And in the alternative hypothesis, this inequality. Now, let's see the descriptive statistics. The average years of the experience for black people is 7.82. And for white people, is 7.85. They are very similar numbers. Let's run the test. In the first line from scipy.stats import star. We import this t test int, that means independent. Two samples are independent. Then we have to pass the data. We pass here year of experience with the constraint white. And the white is defined here, race equal w. In the same way, we pass here black years of experience, and the black is defined this race equal B. DF is the data frame, it's just the name of the data set. And here I pass equal variance equal true. Variance is just the square of the standard deviation. And the standard deviation of black is 5, and the standard deviation of white is 5 as well. They are equal. Let's see the result of the true tail test. The t statistics is 0.18, and it's given by this formula here. The t statistics is the ratio of the null hypothesis divided by the standard error. We are just counting the number of standard errors that separate the estimate from the null hypothesis. This x bar w is the mean white, that is 7.85, and this x bar b is the mean black, that is 7.82. This difference is so small that it even is not a half standard error. That's why you get a big p-value, 0.85, and you cannot reject the null hypothesis. What is p-value? P-value is the smallest level of significance that you can reject the null hypothesis. For the more technical inclined mindset, this SP here is the pool standard deviation and is given by this formula here. It is pool because combining the variance of the white and the variance of black. See that is the average of both variance. You divide by the number of observations of white people and the number of observations of black people. Minus two is the degree of freedom because you know two variables here, the mean of white people and the mean of black people. See that in the beginning, I told you that this is based on two independent samples. If you think that there is dependence, this formula of variance gets even more complicated because you have to compute the covariance between white and black people. 